Welcome to Storytime. We're here with Miss Shantae today here at Maynardville Public Library and we're going to read a very special love story today. We're going to read a story about zombies. Zombies need love too. So this is Zombie in Love and it's written by Kelly DiPacchio and pictures by Scott Campbell. Zombie in Love. Mort Timer was lonely. Cupid's ball was just a few weeks away and he didn't have a sweetheart. Oh, he tried, but somehow the ladies didn't appreciate Mortimer's affection. He gave the girl at the bus stop a fancy box of chocolates. Oh, I don't think she likes those. They look like they had a lot of worms in them. He gave the mail carrier a shiny red heart. I don't know. What do you think? Would you like a heart like that? He gave the waitress at the diner a stunning diamond ring. Oh, but the finger was still attached to it. Oh, poor Mortimer. He read books and he followed all the advice. He took his dog for a walk in the park. He worked out in the gym. He even took ballroom dancing lessons. But nothing he did seemed to impress the girls. When Mortimer got an idea, he placed an ad in a newspaper. Tall, dead, and handsome. If you like taking walks in the graveyard and falling down in the rain, if you're not into cooking, if you have half a brain, if you like walking at midnight, horror films and voodoo, then I'm the guy who you're looking for. I'm dying to meet you. Saturday, Cupid's Ball. Punch Bowl, 7 o'clock. Mortimer was sure this was the answer. On Saturday, he shopped for a new suit at the funeral home. He combed his hair and he put on his best cologne. Oh, what do you think his best cologne was? Mm -mm. I'd be afraid to say. Cupid's ball was hopping. Couples were dancing and laughing and, well, having a ball. Mortimer took his place near the punch bowl and waited. And waited. And waited. Each time a girl approached the table, Mortimer would smile. <sighs> like this. Oh. And each time the girl would shriek and run away. He tried breath mints. That wouldn't do it. And he tried hanging out roses. Oh, that wasn't it either. He tried being funny. Mm, nothing worked. And as the night wore on and the room began to empty, the punch bowl did not. Suddenly, it became clear to Mortimer that nobody was dying to meet him. He began to shuffle towards the exit, and then he heard a loud thud. The thud was followed by an even louder crash. Uh-oh. Somebody made a mess. <gasps> Mortimer turned around, and there on the floor was a girl. 
Her name was Mildred, and she was drop-dead gorgeous. She smiled, oh, like this. Mildred stood up and shook the pineapple rings from her hair. Am I too late? she asked. The clock struck midnight. You're right on time, said Mortimer. Mortimer and Mildred danced, and they held hands, and they dined by the moonlight. It was love at first bite. His and Hurst. See, there's somebody for everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. Tune in next time.